Okay. So for today, we're going to talk about a different topic now. Okay. We're going to look into the introduction to uh, metal cutting. Then after that, uh, we'll go into the mechanics of metal cutting and process perimeter and how material uh, behavior affects process perimeter. Okay. So let's go into the introduction. Okay. So introduction. Uh, sir, I think you are muted. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know, okay? So in metal cutting, uh, the material... Okay, the material is removed. or fractured, okay, based on both compression and shear, okay, so the, and, and shear stresses, okay. So if you see how the material is deformed and fractured. So if I were to now draw an element, you guys know what's an element by now, okay? So this is a material, uh, a, a part of the material, okay? So it's under compression. Okay, so this is compression. And it's going through shear, okay? So this is the symbol for shear. You all know this by now. Okay, so this over here is our compression. And over here, these are your shear. If you read a lot of textbook, they just say the material fear by shearing. No, okay, it's both. And I'm going to I'm I'm going to prove to you why both and not one only. Okay, why why is it both? So the compression and shearing okay, both the compression and shearing occurs. In a narrow, narrow zone, okay, or in a shear plane, okay. So later on, we will draw what is this narrow zone or what is a shear plane, okay. So let me tell you what so what is so unique about metal cutting that's different from any other processes, okay. So the workpiece material in metal cutting, the workpiece material okay, the workpiece material undergoes so it's going through it's going through a significant amount of Deformation So I highlight over here the strain we can observe okay the strain that we can observe is between three to five very high Okay, and so the deformation the strain is high and under okay, And under high strain rate So high strain rate over here, you we are we are we are talking to up to okay up to ten to power five per second. Okay, so that's how high we are deforming the material. And what's even what make it what makes it more worse and temperature of the material. 
the temperature of the material can increase by 200 degrees C approximately. Okay, 200 degrees C in one microsecond. Okay, so one micron second or one times 10 to power minus six seconds. Okay, so you are talking about very high uh, heat increase in a very short time. Okay, so the energy evolved in metal cutting. The energy evolved, okay, is very high. Okay, is very high for metal cutting. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw. Okay, we're going to draw the schematics of metal cutting okay so there are, there are terms that you have to know okay and and draw big okay we are, we are going we're going to label a lot of stuff down here okay draw big okay okay we are, we are going to draw lots of stuff so we are going into the schematics. Of 2D orthogonal. Meta cutting. Okay. And with a sharp tool. With a sharp two, so we're gonna draw this out. So how how does it look like? So what we have is we have a two. Okay. So this is known as our two. All right. Then on our two, so by right this should be a straight line not curve because there are, there are defined angles okay then on the tool this is on the tool the tool is usually the hard okay the hard the harder part okay it's like your knife okay your, your knife is harder then on this face over here okay on this face over here this is what we call our rake face Okay, that's called our rake face. Then over here, down here, this is our clearance face. Okay. Then we're going to draw a straight line. Okay. Then we will draw this. And then we'll stop part way. And then we're going to draw from the straight line, we're going to draw a chain line. Okay, so this is our chain line. All right, so that's our chain line. And then we are going to extend this line over here straight. Okay, and then it meets a certain angle over here. Okay, all right, and this angle from the chain line, all right to here and then we have something curling upwards okay and then from here so this is what we call the chip okay let's call the the chip over here down here is what we address it as our workpiece okay and this surface over here Right, when I is our newly generated surface. Okay, and if you ask me in terms of scale, how big is this? Uh, how what is the scale? Okay, so in terms of scale, 
from here to here is 100 micron meter. So it's about the thickness of your hair. Okay, so that's 100 micron meters. Okay, so I'm going to define other angles. Okay, which we will we'll see uh, later on. Okay, so we are going to define other angles and other terminology. So get used to drawing this diagram, okay? Get used to the... So what we have, so the first angle we're going to do is from the tool, rig face, you're going to draw a vertical line up, okay? And this is known as your alpha angle. Okay? That is known as your alpha angle. So I'm going to define what is alpha. So alpha is your rake angle. Okay, later on we talk about rake angle. We know what, what is it. So it's in what is in degrees. Okay. And then over here we have an angle called gamma. Oh, I should draw gamma better. You can see. So the angle over here is called gamma. Okay. So gamma over here represents the clearance angle. Okay. And then oh, we have uh, from the top of the workpiece to down here, I have a small, small t. Okay. So this small t is our undeformed Chip thickness. Okay, it's our undeformed chip thickness, and then over here, this is big T, right? So big T represents the deformed chip thickness. Okay, and the units are all in millimeters. Okay, and then the workpiece, okay, the workpiece is moving, right? It's moving at velocity U or sometimes some textbook call it V. Okay, so U or V. is known as your cutting speed. It's in meters per minute. Okay, and the cutting speed is related to your strain rate. Okay, and then we have an angle over here, a very important angle, which is known as pi. Okay, so the pi angle is known as the shear angle. And that is in degrees. Then we have over here on a straight line. Okay, this straight line over here is what we call the shear plane. Okay. It's what we call shear plane. And sometimes, okay, some uh, scientists or engineers say it's not shearing the shear plane, but they have it in a zone. Okay, so if you see a certain thickness, they are defining at a zone. Okay, so what they what what they sorry the the first one is not shear plane. Okay, it's known as the primary shear plane. Okay, if you define it as a a, a zone. Okay, we call it the primary shear zone. Okay, so, so we will call it as PSZ. Okay, the PSZ. And then from here, 
right from here is another deformation region. Okay. So you have this region over here. 